Good morning traders. January 26th we are looking at the renewable energy and electric cars sector of the market. We're going to start with Air Canada first. Let's uh, get started. <music> Quick disclaimer that this is just how I see the markets. This is not a recommendation to buy, sell or hold any securities. Yesterday I left you with this uh, box here and I said if the price closes below this box, we are uh, going to see a dip again as far as the market. And that's exactly what happened. And I want to show you that the, the way I'm showing you how to trade and the way how to find uh, the trades works both ways it doesn't matter if you're going up or you're going down it, it always does the same exact thing so uh, let's take a look at what happened at this box again here I'm gonna switch to 3 hour chart and take a look at that we can see that box that box is right there this is the support we were waiting for so the market was doing this right it was doing this doing this and then finally came down again back to this area where we had a first bounce after the correction of the market here all right with all the negative announcements from Air Canada we finally yesterday had a breakout right here the market broken out the bears took over the bulls uh, had a final struggle they were pushed the market tried to push over $21 and you can see these beautiful wicks right here this beautiful wick here and then the bears pushed it down again we had this upside down or um, this is a pin bar basically sell pin bar and that's what I can say so the market broke out we pushed back we retested this area this is the um, there used to be support now it's resistance because it's not letting market to go through uh, towards the top right so now this is a resistance we get this first indication or clue that the bears are taking over so this is the retest this is the signal we are waiting for to trade we are not selling here we are not doing anything but I'm just showing you that it can happen the opposite way exactly as it all as it happens in a positive way or bullish way okay so this is bears taking over we have a final struggle here with this little little tiny candle that's inside this pin bar telling us that bulls are running out of juice and then we have another retest here with this pin bar right here this pin bar right here the last one uh, is telling us that uh, bulls um, are, are completely overrun and now the bears are taking over and then once the the top of that candle was broken uh, we have this sell-off right now that's happening with this candle here it's just simple as that you don't have to complicate things you always look at just the pure charts and what the candles are telling you and everything that you see in the picture you can basically trade because you find the way how to interpret it on the chart and this is exactly what's happening so market does two things okay you can do this so the, let's imagine this we break out we pull back we retest this area and then we get a signal all right to go long to buy in opposite happens in a sell-off mode so market breaks out pulls back retest this area gives us a signal to sell and the market falls that's how the technical trading works so what I'm looking right now since we are uh, got out of this box and uh, we have a breakout to the downside I'm expecting a retest of this area here which corresponds to this 618 as well so 1950 area probably 1975 1950 as we marked it here so I'm waiting for the market to come down here and to see if the bulls are strong enough to hold this area and give us maybe a signal to go along from there okay if this area holds all right so only if this area holds again I'm going to repeat a million times that this is a patience game uh, and we have to be patient to get to see what the market is going to tell us what to do and uh, then we're going to buy back into this market the further it falls it's going to be better for us to get a better price for it 
So that's how I see Air Canada today. Now switching uh, to Tesla with the Biden's win and taking over the office and uh, his huge plan of uh, renewal, renewable energy. This was a 10 days uh, of consolidation in this, in this symmetrical triangle here. Market uh, took off again and we are now back to this resistance area right now here at, at 887. Uh, we had this attempt of the breakout here and today we can see that the bears are pulling back uh, the market. So I would still love to see market fall. Maybe not this deep, but uh, maybe somewhere always to this area here around $800 uh, before buying in and uh, going uh, long on this uh, bullish market. So I would wait for something to happen here. If it happens, if the market falls here, if not, this uh, breakout can happen here again and we can get uh, another retest of this 887 area before we continue long. So this is how I see Tesla. We're gonna switch to NIO. Once again, NIO is the uh, Chinese company uh, for electric electric cars. It's competing with uh, uh, luxury cars with uh, Tesla. Last time I left you with this picture here, this candle was developing here and it turned out to be a pin bar here. Okay, so we had a pullback after this breakout. We had a pullback. We had a retest in the second session. We had this pin bar that was telling us that the market, the bulls are located here. As you can see, this correspond to this last area that we broken out out of right here with this with this uh, pin bar here bears pushed it down and bulls pushed it back up okay this was an inside bar but also a pin bar inside bar telling us that the market is uh, undecisive where it's going to go bears had the last move here uh, to the downside you see the rejection of this line here and then the bulls created this pin bar that uh, took us into trade uh, showing us at the same time the rejection of this level here and uh, we can see that wick of this candle here this green one fell below this one here so it's not an inside bar it is an actually a valid pin bar and then the market took off okay and we went from uh, $58 to almost 65 I said this is going to be an area to look for uh, for the market to stop and this is exactly what we have almost to the point here um, you can never expect it to be exactly there. Eventually, it will come to that area, but this is how you kind of uh, um, orient yourself how far it could go. What I'm expecting it to do right now is to come down to this area, give us maybe another signal here to re-enter the, uh, the, re the, the trade and uh, go long again, uh, probably to $65 area. This is where we see that the market is kind of stalling, so it's creating this... Uh, resistance area so that will be another um, nice uh, uh, re-entry into this market for us um, if it doesn't stop at this area here we might expect it to come down all the way to $54 we can see here a huge resistance that happened back uh, in the past so those are two options now uh, that the market is falling again after this uh, nice uh, bounce of the 50 uh, 657 area we are looking at the brookfield renewal partners i showed you this uh, beautiful um, trade a few days ago when i was filming the video this signal was already developed it was too late to jump into that trade that this train had left the station already this uh, top of this candle was already broken this candle here was developing already and i said this trade is already in place and look how far it took us to the to the highs of this one and then we had one two three retests at this area now the market is coming down it could come down to this 45 area or even 44 dollar area 43 there's three areas here that we can look at okay that correspond uh, to the past that we can see this is a uh, this is the last high so this is one of the area of resistance and this is the area of support. We can see this wick stops right there. So this could be the area that we are looking at to get another signal to re-enter this market and go long. This is a renewable comp a renewable energy company um, and it's based uh, in the US. So that's what I'm waiting for uh, to happen. Moving on to Northland Power and we have the exactly same picture here. We have exactly the same picture here 
and take a look what happened here. I left you somewhere around this area here last time. We had this beautiful breakout out of this area here. Market to, took up, came down, went a little bit deeper here. You can see that it corresponds to this area right there too, right? And then we went up, we retested again. This is a retest with a pin bar, okay? And then the market took off and gives us almost to the to the top of this area here. So after the uh, 49, sorry, 48, uh, 48, 50 area um, entry, uh, we went almost to $51. So this is a great entry, great trade. You can see for three days we have we had a nice bullish move there. Uh, with a retest of these highs. We are looking at the BlackBerry right now and you can see the, how great the moves are from BlackBerry. After this breakout right here, market just took off. Look at this straight line, 90 degrees, take off and stalls at these areas that I marked over there uh, that, that seemed to be a very important. It seemed to be just going through it like like through the butter with a, with a very sharp knife. All right, we are now on one hour chart, we had a market moving to the upside like this, right? Came down, gave us a beautiful signal to enter the market. This is the market to go high. If you didn't take this signal here, what happens next? Market breaks out. We get probably better opportunity on a smaller time frame. I didn't look at it, so it doesn't really matter. But we come to this point here we cre create this high right there and then we go into this consolidation then we get this beautiful engulfing bar to break out okay so this after this candle the breakout happens right here this is the breakout candle this showed us the break the bull move we come down market comes down right away to retest we you get a, a new signal to re-enter the market this is a, a bullish signal, bull, bullish pin bar, same as this one here. Market takes off again. So two opportunities to buy into this market. So here on a one hour chart, here on one hour chart, if you are uh, patient enough to wait for these to develop, um, you would be uh, golden over there. Uh, one more thing, I'm gonna uh, go over Suncor Energy. Somebody asked me to uh, do a video of Suncor Energy and uh, what I'm seeing right here right now. This is a daily chart. I marked some uh, resistance and support levels here and we can see that the market was actually stalling at these areas before. So very important for us to mark these areas the proper way. We are always looking to the most recent one which is right here. Okay so the market came to this point here you can see that how it cor corresponds to these areas that the market had a struggle to go through and we created these areas that we are always looking at market came up to this area here came down i'm not looking for signals right now but i'm look showing you what i'm seeing in the market on the start on the market here uh, we are back to this area here again uh, this green candle tried to break out above this 2452 area was not able to and then the market takes down on the daily chart now I'm waiting for it to come down to this area to 2113 that we have marked uh, as a support area and uh, hopefully bulls show their hands uh, we have probably uh, I hope that they're going to give us a signal from there to buy into this market to take us back down back to the uh, 2452 area and if they're strong enough to break out pull back and then continue on where is the first market uh, to look for us to stop? Well, these would be the first areas and this would be the second area right here where the bulls stopped uh, the last time. So that's how you would be measuring uh, the sun core right now. So that's what I see. It's right now uh, in correction mode. So we are waiting for it to come down around 21, 13, 21 dollars uh, to see if the bulls are strong enough to give us a signal to go along. And the final thing, somebody asked me also to, to take a look at the uh, uh, TSX market. I hope you're all able to see it. We are on a weekly chart. I don't have much to to explain to you what's going on here, but uh, basically we had this huge resistance area here after so many years of trading. So this is uh, this is a, so uh, this is a resistance area that we are trying to break out. Then we get 
we had this huge fall here and then the market corrected itself came back to this area with this is the engulfing candle this is the engulfing candle that I always talk about okay this is a beautiful beautiful breakout with the close on the other side however in order for this signal to be validated in to take the trade and to get into this market so the market would continue on into the upside all right the next session has to break the top of this candle which it didn't this candle here is an indecision candle this is a doji and another rejection here with a pin bar that's pointing downwards okay so this one is pointing downwards and then now we have another low made so this low was broken here of this candle low was broken here of this candle with this one here that's alive today so what we are looking at either markets to come down here retest if it's strong enough and to you know try to break out again so this breakout is invalid so this is not it okay or for this move here to continue sideways until the breakout happens or since we are getting into this kind of a um, consolidation area or if it breaks below that area and then goes to retest this here we can see it 16,800 area so here right there and so we are waiting for that retest right there so either that or it's going to break out to the other side at the moment we are in consolidation going sideways and that's how I see a TSX as you can see here uh, that's a composite index Canadian market thank you for watching my video I hope you subscribe and you learn something new please hit that like button thank you for coming to my channel and uh, this is Sasha peace out